Until next week's Pick of the Pops plays top 20s from 1975 and 1989, ATB is number one this date in 1999 with 9 p.m. till I come. OJ is next. This is Radio 2 on BBC Sounds. And on your smart speaker. Play BBC Radio 2. BBC News at three o'clock. This is Nikki Cardwell. Rishi Sunak says the UK discourages the use of cluster bombs but will continue to play its part in supporting Ukraine. He was speaking after the US decided to send the weapons to the Ukrainian military to help in their fight against Russia's invasion. Mr Sunak said Britain would help Ukraine in other ways. The UK is signatory to a convention which prohibits the production or use of cluster munitions and discourages their use. We will continue to do our part to support Ukraine against Russia's illegal legal and unprovoked invasion. We've done that by providing heavy battle tanks and most recently long-range weapons. The BBC says it takes any allegations very seriously after the Sun newspaper said a presenter had paid thousands of pounds to a teenager for explicit photos. The family of the youngster, who's now 20, say they complained to the corporation in May, but the presenter still appeared on air. It's understood he's not scheduled to appear again in the near future. Lizo Mazimba is following developments. The Sun says that a well-known presenter is accused of giving a young individual more than £35,000 in return for sexually explicit images of them, something that the newspaper says began when the individual was 17 years old and legally still a child. A man has been charged with the murder of a married couple who were found dead in Essex on Easter Sunday. Luke DeWitt is due to appear before Chelmsford Magistrates Court today. Detectives who originally said the deaths were not suspicious say it's a significant development in a complex investigation. The U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has called for a deeper cooperation between the U.S. and China in addressing what she called the existential threat of climate change. During a visit to Beijing, she urged China to support international initiatives such as the Green Climate Fund. I believe that continued U.S.-China cooperation on climate finance is critical. As the world's two largest emitters of greenhouse gases and the largest investors in renewable energy. We have both a joint responsibility and ability to lead the way. At Wimbledon, rain has stopped play on the outside courts. The only action is on centre and number one courts which have roofs. There's also no play on the third day of the third Ashes test at Eddingley because of rain. If play does get underway, Australia will try to build on their lead over England, which currently stands at 142. And the Met Office says its rainfall radar spotted a swarm of flying ants a mile long on the south coast of England yesterday. Experts say they're often seen at around this time of year over the course of about a week when males and new queens leave their nest to mate. BBC News, it's three minutes past three. Radio 2 Now It's OJ Borge Start the dance. 